The second method you could use to do metric conversions is what I call the straight copy method. In this method, you're simply going to copy down the right number with the right prefix for the conversion. So 1445 centimeters, and I want to get rid of centimeters and go to meters. So I look at the prefix centi, and it says 10 to the minus second. That means 10 to the minus second meters is a centimeter, because centi and 10 to the minus second mean the same thing. So then I'm going to write a 10 to the minus second up here with meters, and then you simply need to do the math, and you're going to come up with 14.45 centimeters. I'm sorry, meters, and we canceled out centimeters. So this is going to be meters, and this is going to be the final answer. If we try that with number 7, so this was number 7, this first one was number 1. Number 7, I have 4.27 times 10 to the fifth picometers, and I want to go to millimeters. So I'm going to go from pico to milli, but I'm going to go through meters. So I'm going to go pico to meters, meters to milli. So we're going to get rid of picometers and go to meters. Now we have to look at the prefixes and see what we got. Pico means 10 to the minus 12. So that means 10 to the minus 12 meters is one picometer. And we're going to cancel out picometers. And now I want to get rid of meters and go to millimeters. And now I look at milli and it says 10 to the minus third. So that number goes with meters. 10 to the minus third meters. We're going to cancel out meters. And now we do the math. We're going to take the fifth power, make it go down by 12 and up by 3. So when you do the calculator, it's going to come out to be 4. 0.27 times 10. This is going to be nine, negative nine, negative four millimeters. So this was the straight copy method. Again, what we did is we got the unit we wanted to um, divide out to the new unit. We look over here and see the relationship with the regular unit. So centi means 10 to the minus second. I put that with regular unit, and then I do the math because I'm done when I got to uh, where. All right, well, this was number two. I'm sorry. I'll do number one for you again. I got mixed up. This was number two. Here's number one. 6.50 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. If I want to get that out of meters, and go to nanometers, I look up nano, nano is 10 to the minus ninth, so that goes there, and I cancel out meters, and the answer comes out to be 650 nanometers, or 6.50 times 10 to the second nanometers. If I wanted to do uh, number 7, I take the 4.27 10 to the 5th, it's in picometers, I want to get rid of picometers, go to regular meters, always go to the regular unit first. Pico means 10 to the minus 12th, so 10 to the minus 12th meters over 1 picometer cancels out pico, but I'm not done because I want to go to millimeters, so I need to put regular unit down here, meters with millimeters on top, and then I copy down the 10 to the minus 3rd with regular unit because milli means that, and then I do the math and I get 4.27 10 to the fourth. The advantage of this method is that you're just straight copying. The disadvantage is that it's a little longer than the first method, which was just move the decimal over. In the next video, we're going to see one more method, which is called the uh, no negative exponent method.